G'day comrade and welcome back to the Republic with me, Judy. In our previous episode, we'd started working on a food production assembly plant. Some way for us to start turning a profit because currently I have just over one and a half thousand people and I've spent just over one and a half million rubles to get one and a half thousand people, which is very expensive. Very, very expensive. So we need to find a way to turn a profit because here in the Republic, we do not have tech startups that just spend nothing but money for 10 years, hoping to attract more investors to keep the place afloat. We need to actually, um, well, turn a profit and make sure that Uncle Vlad does not get disappointed that we spent all these rubles and have nothing to show for it. Well, nothing but a few thousand people. So today's episode, we need to get back to working on that. We still have a few things I need to set up, you know, like well, water and sewerage and power. Also, all the actual buildings need to be built. There's a few odds and ends. On top of that, we need to get a couple of other things done on the side. Uh, one, I need to well, get some research done. Get some research done. Obviously, unlock some new technology here in the New Republic. And I need to keep the people of the uh, town busy. I need to keep them busy doing something. I cannot have unemployment get too high because, well, we all know idle hands are very bad, so I need to keep them busy here inside the town once we get the new construction up and running. So that's going to be today's plan, which means I need to ask that very, very important, that very, very important question, and that is, can the wonderful people of Like and Stock borrow a like? They'd just like to borrow a like. They'd like to borrow a like early in the video. If you're not happy with the video, you didn't enjoy the video, uh, that's okay. We're planning on researching the secret police. They'll see to it that you like the video. All right, today, first thing we need to talk about is a couple of new houses. Had to put in a couple of new houses because the people got unemployed and then they got grumpy. They're no longer unemployed. They're now over here building new houses. Uh, that's very, very important. Uh, we still have our wonderful Lenin co concrete statue going in, plus half a dozen little roads and things. Uh, I have all the construction offices set up on one single hot bar. So I'm just going to make sure that all these little bits of paving that I want done are actually signed. That can have a mechanism on it, so that should be fine. Uh, yeah, and I'm having more micro jitters than I was previously, which is always awesome. Next thing I want to do is I want to come in here. I want to cancel roads. I want to strip that back and strip that back because I'm thinking a nice gentle curve from there to there would look wonderful. And then I want to plug this in. Uh, and I don't want to plug this in there. I want to plug this in, uh, in a straight line from here to here and then do that one. Okay. I want to plug that in. I want to make sure that all of this is suspended. I don't want any construction to start over here. Uh, I do want to, because it's quick, easy, and because we've got our own gravel, getting gravel deliveries is pretty good. I want to set up uh, footpaths, please, gravel footpaths, and I want to get that section done. I want to get that section done. I want to get that section done. I want to get that done. I want to get this section done. You done all the way through to here done and up to there. Cool. That's the first, first thing I wanted to get done. That way, at least we can get the construction crews in here and we get some of the gravel pathing put in. Uh, next thing I want to do is we have this road being upgraded to gravel as we speak. Uh, we're going to do that road up to Asheville. Uh, and I want to enable... No, I want to enable that. Uh, and I've just realized that active construction was turned off. Uh, that, that, that. Uh, that, that, uh, that, and that. Okay. All right. I want to get uh, those things up and started. Okay. Whilst that's happening, we need to talk about um this. This is going to need a couple of things. First off, we need to talk about uh, people, and then we need to talk about trash. They're two very important things I need to cover. So, people and jobs. Uh, I have uh, two food factories. Food factories need a minimum amount of workers, or maximum amount of workers for them to run. Uh, that is 170 people. Okay, times two. So it's 340 people. On top of that, we have a booze factory, which is going to have another 100 people. So that takes us up to 440. Uh, then we have under miscellaneous, we have the fabric factory, which is another 100 people, which is going to bring up to 540. And then I have two clothing factories, which is 80 a piece, which is on 160, which is, what did I say, 540 uh, plus 160 is 700 people. I'm going to have 700 people potentially working here which means the buses are going to be fine to get 700 people over here. But there's a catch. There's a catch. There's a more small minor thing that I, I didn't really explain. And that is, um, that's per shift. 
that's per shift and here in the republic we don't have one shift per day we have three shifts per day and, and each shift is nine hours i guarantee you it's nine hours we we work people for all the hours so that means i need to get uh not 700 people over here that maximum productivity uh but potentially 2100 people over here which is an awful lot of people into an awful lot of factories which also means that um i'm gonna have a, an awful lot of resources coming in an awful lot of resources coming out so I need to get the train tracks done. That's going to be very, very important. If I get the train tracks done, I can get materials delivered a whole lot easier. Oh God, you are so slow. So slow. The slowest of slow. Uh, high priority. High priority. You just need to make it to the border. If you make it to the border, I will give you a treat. Uh, I can't click on the tiny itty bit of rail in there. No. Okay, I need you to make it a border. Once you make it a border, I'll, I'll get a bigger and better uh, track built, track layer. Okay, so uh, I need to deal with, well, 700 people. I also need to deal with um, uh, trash, sewerage, and power. So uh, let's deal with water, sewerage, and power. Uh, water, sewerage, and power. Yeah, let's deal with those ones first. All right, we're going to start with sewerage because it's always the biggest pain in the ass. And uh, no, I want that button off. I want that overlay on and i want number two so we get terrain height uh our last series switch is here-ish at 11.8 meters so i want to we look underground and i look at sewage uh, i have sewage here plus I need to collect sewage for all the people uh and then i need to pipe that into over here at no actually over here at uh 11 meters 11 and a half meters so i need to make sure that my sewage switch is going to be above 11 and a half meters and then i need to make sure the sewage collection is above that as well so we're going to put our sewage uh switch here at 13.2 13.3 and then i'm going to grab a sewage tank and we're going to put this over here which is even further uphill at 14 meters and i don't care that these are not plugged in currently uh that's perfectly plugged into one another uh, we're plugged into the footpath currently because uh, I don't care. Tunnels above the terrain at some point. Really? Okay, can I move you that way a little bit then? Uh, there to there. Okay, so I want to plug from there to there. I also want to take my sewage switch at 13.3 and I'd like a halfway point. Uh, where are we? We're at... 11.7 so i want to get somewhere in the middle 12 12 12 okay i can get 12 here i'm gonna put a sewage switch uh that's the output going that way i'm gonna put a sewage switch here beside the main road yeah here uh now i, I can't plug this in until this asphalting is done which is potentially a bit of a pain in the butt but uh i'm gonna say that's okay for now because i do not Cancel! Oh, I want to plug you into there. And then I want to plug you into here. Actually, that would be a gem if you could plug into that side. I don't know if that's actually connected. Okay, we're going to go to here and then to there. Oh. Uh, yes, because I have uh, this particular switch is only going to have one port free from it. Because I also need to get a sewage output, a factory, a factory sewage output directly from the fabric plant. Because it's going to dump a whole lot of sewage. Uh, I need to turn that one off. Where are we? You. Uh, sewage, 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 clothing. Uh, you output. That's the fabric. Clothing factory. Uh, no. Fabric. Fabric outputs. Where are we? Uh, you take an 11 cubic meters of water plus you take uh and you put out 20 cubic meters worth of wastewater so i'm gonna lose two connections here in this series switch so i'd prefer if i'm gonna lose two connections to make sure that i have a waypoint here where i can at least have more connections because we're far 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 from um capping out our pipes that move 170 cubic meters per day you know this only does 20 at full capacity all right next thing i need to do is need to do water water is way easier because it's pressurized uh we have a water switch 
here. So when we bring in water from there, I'm not going to bother putting a waypoint, actually. Yeah, I think I will, actually. Uh, we'll just put you there. Uh, I'm going to put a water switch there. I'm going to put the other water switch here. Like, this is all pressurized, so it's so much easier to do clean water than it is to do sewage. Uh, we want a water substation, which I can literally just park uh, over here. I'll hook in all the footpaths later. We're going to get maximum flow water pipe, and that's going to go from there. Building in the way. Yeah, what building? Is it a building or a pipe? I'm willing about a pipe. Uh, you're now perfectly okay. Whatever, not going to question it. The fact that I rotate the camera makes it work better. I will accept it. All right. Uh, we're going to plug you into there. Then we're going to plug you into... Nope. I'm going to plug you into there. Yep, hold down control to get the shortest pipe possible. I'm going to plug you into there. I don't care if you go around the long way. Because it means if I want to take an output this way, which I'm going to. I already know I'm going to in the future. Uh, it's going to be as close as possible. Okay, we're going to okay those construction jobs as well. All right, last thing I'm going to do is I need to get electricity in here. We're going to have a substation. And I'm just going to throw that somewhere into this chaos. Uh, here? Sure. Here. Yeah. All right, now, uh, how I'm going to get power to that substation, that's the question we're going to answer in just a second. Because, like I said, I have 700 workers here. Now, 700 workers is um, is one number that's going to be very, very important uh, when it comes to calculating your water and calculating sewage, which we're going to be skipping over this time around. But one thing I do want to calculate is our trash. So, food factory. Uh, food factory has a ma maximum daily, uh, daily garbage production of 1.53 tons. I have two of them. So that's three tons worth of trash. On top of that, there's a garbage production per worker, which is on top of that of 0.6 kilos. And the 0.6 kilos is is flat for every single every single one of these buildings. Every one of them is going to have a garbage production per worker of 0.6. So if I have 700 workers per shift, should mention per shift, not per day, um, that is uh, 700 times by 0.6 is uh, about half a ton. And then three shifts is one and a half tons. So I have one and a half tons worth of trash from just the people per day. It's a lot. It's a lot after you start looking at it. On top of that, we have uh, the food factory, which has one and a half tons by itself. Uh, so I have three tons worth of trash from just the food factories. Then the booze factory uh, produce is industrial amounts of waste at 2.4 tons. We'll call it 2.5. So what's that? Uh, food is three... Uh, we're at 2.5, that's 5.5 tons worth of trash per day. Uh, go into our, uh, clothing factory. Um, and we have another, oh, clothing factory is 0 0.03 tons. Okay, we're going to skip that, but the clothing factory, uh, makes up for it with another two tons, we'll call it. So that's three five three five point five plus another two seven seven ish seven and a half with another one and a half tons from the people which is eight no, nine tons nine tons are worth of trash per day uh from this little complex when it's running at full speed we're definitely not gonna be running at full speed to start with but we're gonna get there eventually so I need to look at trash. Trash is something we're going to have to pay attention to. Now, when it comes to waste, we have, uh, well, these little stands. These little stands, they require a road connection, and they store a little bit of trash, okay? Uh, this stores uh, 0.72 tons of mixed waste. It's an amazing amount. Uh, so it's a small stand for small garbage containers. Then we have a... Uh, oh, oh, uh, 
Then we have a stand for small garbage containers, also small, which uh, is, is the same, except it just has a footpath connection. Uh, that also holds 0.72 tons worth of mixed waste. Whereas we're doing like nine tons per day, it's gonna fill up instantly. Then we have this slightly larger one. Okay, slightly larger one, a little bit larger, but it's a stand for small garbage containers. This is a large version, and we have both a, uh, a road connection and a footpath connection, whichever you prefer. And these hold 2.2 uh, .2 tons worth of mixed waste. And once they're full, they're full. The garbage truck has to come along and pick them up. These are the ones that I haven't been building. If you've been paying attention, I haven't been bothering with these at all. Because uh, the garbage stand is the garbage stand is the garbage stand. There is no stats difference between one and the other. There is the information bucket button here. You can you click on if you can. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I've been... Go, go, go away. Go. I've been working on these ones. So I have uh, this particular one, which is the one that I've been using up until now. Uh, this is it's a good size and it holds uh, 52 tons of mixed waste as we're doing nine We'll call it ten per day. This is five days worth of trash five days worth of trash Total before a garbage truck wants to come out has to come along and pick it up I'm really hoping they pick it up a lot more often than once every five days But potentially once every five days we also have um, the bigger and better brother which holds 156 tons of waste um, which is probably a little bit, little bit for what we need right now. So we're gonna go with the smaller one. And I've already planned out to put one, uh, well, right here. Except I'm going to cancel the road. Uh, cancel the road. Cool. Uh, because I don't need that road just yet. And what I do need is I need to start. Uh, turn nope. Turn on construction. I need to start doing these roads. Uh, can I road that road and that road and that road and that and that and that and that and that and all of that? Yeah, can I gravel all of that, please? And yep, that's gonna be our plan. Uh, yeah, they all should be big enough. Okay, you're not big enough and you're not big enough. Uh, that one and that one will need workers as will... Uh, I also want to do that tiny section there. And you will also need workers. Not that I can assign people there yet, but eventually. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, these stands. Also, I'm going to want a stand over here to do this side of garbage collection. And I have pre-planned a footpath that you can plug into right there. So that's going to be our plan for garbage. That's going to handle our garbage. We've got two garbage containers. The reason I have two is just distance. Uh, it's probably not going to work now that I have a disconnected path. But this is enough to reach these three buildings. This is enough to just reach these three buildings because trash is a flat 125 meters. People cannot walk further than a half. Well, will not walk, walk further than 125 meters to get to trash. So that's going to be our plan. Uh, can I actually approve that one as well? I want to get the bus stop built. Okay. So this is what we need to do here. I've hooked up this, all the services except for power. Power is the only one we haven't done because power, well, we bring in power over here at the border. Uh, we bring in power here. It goes through a switch and then into our, our priority switch where I can choose where the power goes. And I need to get it to, well, here, which means I have a couple of choices. I could either, you know, drag it off. Well, I could drag it off the, our current transformer all the way over here. That would be possible or I can put in a new power line. We're gonna be putting in a brand new power line and I'm going to be, uh, can I get a road? And I wanna go this way a whole lot. Get to about there. Okay, I wanna have a road as a marker uh, because I am going to be bringing in my power from up there and then I need to run it to a switch. And I'm going to put the switch down here because, well, uh, this road is being converted into gravel. Uh, this one's being converted into asphalt, which means I can't plug into either of them at the moment, which means um, I'm going to be putting a brand new switch all the way down here. Uh, and we're going to put you there off our dirt road. Then beside that, I'm going to need a transformer to then break the high voltage into not high voltage. And I'm going to put you here. Uh, that way? No, let's do it that way. Yeah, okay. 
And I'm going to take off that branch and bring it out and bring it in there. Bring a service road off a service road. Okay, I'm going to need to grab my high voltage 15 megawatt wires. I overbuild all the infrastructure. That way there's less chance that it's going to come back and haunt me. And I'm going to find out that um something I built was not... I, I, I did not plan a hard, far enough ahead. And then uh, something... I, I, I build something that needs more power or more more whatever than I planned. Oh my god. The micro starters make it so hard to build things in a straight line. Okay. In this line. In this line. In this line. I'm looking for that dirt road. Okay. Two. Let's go to... to there. Just before the power pole duplicates. And then we're going to go sideways, trying to follow this dirt road. That's why I put the dirt road in as just a marker. Uh, this is like a six-way power board, except all of them are in input and all of them are in output. Uh, that road is not plugged into that road, which is good, because I'm going to remove that whole thing. And this will get power to here. After we get power to here, I need to branch that power into here. And then from there, we're going to run a mini voltage maximum wire. And I'm not going to run off this one. I'm going to run off this one. Uh, and I need to bring this to here. And if we go look underground, uh, yep, that's the shorter distance I can make it. And active. Okay, okay. So, in theory, uh, this is all marked as active. And this is all marked as active and the bus stops marked as active and this footpath marked as active these roads marked as active this is marked as active okay i have an access problem i.e people can't get access to half these construction jobs to get them started so what we're going to do is we're going to have a micro stutter and then we're going to build a access road we're just going to throw some dirt paths in and plug that into an existing road and plug that in there that way they can get in and start these jobs also going to do the same down here so i'm just going to bring a road out here and then over this way into the main road over here and i want to plug that in and that in and i just realized that that one i wouldn't mind being ash uh, being gravel as well that one i wouldn't mind no uh spend demolish okay uh cancel road Cool. You can be... You're assigned to everything. Well, technically that's valid. You really get road builder. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to break off... No, that's when it's already started. So there's no point doing that one. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to... We'll add in the road afterwards. Yeah. Uh, because that just makes it one longer job, which means less deliveries. Uh, actually, and I just noticed... That should be, uh, actually, if I cancel, cancel roads and I pull that road out. Yeah, that should also be one job. I want to get in gravel wherever possible. I'd really like to have gravel to all buildings, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you can be built. You can be built. Really? You having workers do that? I guess. Like this, I prefer. Okay, I want to set you to high priority. Okay. Uh, you're almost done. You're almost done with the asphalting. Then you're going to be do, do the rolling. Uh, we need to have a look underground and make sure they're both approved. And they're approved. Not that they have a footpath. Actually, actually, they just need a footpath connection. Uh, there, to there, to this service road. That'll do. I'll hook them into that road later, but that'll do for right now. Okay, so uh, we can start building this. Now, this is going to need a name. Every single, everything that we build is going to need a name sooner or later. Uh, so can we go into a uh, terrain tools, uh, create city area? But it's still technically part of Lycanstock, therefore, you know, it should have uh, a name that's, you know, something to do with Lycanstock. Uh, probably not that name. I think uh, we'd be better with... Liking Grill. Liking Grill. Liking Grill seems like a, a way better name. It also means that all these buildings are now going to bring on that name. So we have Liking Grill Food Factory number two and Food Factory number three. Oh, because Food Factory one, one's over here because I never deleted these. Yeah. Uh, so you should be Food Factory. You should be Food Factory two, Clothing Factory two, Fabric Factory. 
yeah, this, this seems about right. Uh, I want to get this building done uh, first. This is going to be super important to get, well, the main warehouse up and running. Because as soon as I get the warehouse up and running, I want to get trucks in delivering food, uh, delivering crops. So we can start filling or pre-filling the warehouse before things get too chaotic here. All right. So that's the first thing I want to do. Second thing I want to do is uh, you are partially built. You're waiting for bricks. You're also waiting for bricks. How is our border connection? Busy. Okay. You are our open storage. Now, open storage is fine. That's perfectly fine. But it's for the rail office. So can I go with rail warehouse? Because that'll definitely help. And... Uh, Uh, cool. And that means if I swing around this, uh, this should now say choo-choo storage. Yeah, it does. It's going to be called, any same time I, I look at it in any of the menus, it's going to be called uh, the Rail Warehouse. But you know, it'll also have the name of choo-choo storage written on it. So we can go visit it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you, can you get a name too? Oh, you can get a name. You can get a name. Uh... Builder of tracks, perfect, perfect. With the, the the red the red propaganda border across the top of the building. All right, one thing I want to do is I want to come to here. Uh, you are trying to fill the round warehouse to eighty percent full. We're going to go with ten percent full. I'm going to cut down the amount of deliveries to here because although deliveries are good and although I want deliveries to happen, I don't want deliveries to happen quite as much. I, I need to cut down the amount of people visiting the border because we need to get concrete from the border. We need to get asphalt from the border. We need to get these deliveries. Like, I'm out of bricks. I'm out of bricks. That's a problem. I, I, I'm out of boards. I, I, I'm low on steel. I, I have prefab panels, but the other ones I'm out or low of, which is a problem. So I want to cut back on what we're taking over here in exchange of hopefully getting these full. Also, you have a shit ton of stuff physically delivered to the building. All right. So that's that plan. Next thing I want to do is I want to upgrade my buses. So we have a lot of workers here. And you are bringing... Nope, it's you. Uh, you are bringing the S SDK 706 Rot Lux bus. Yes, uh, this particular bus carries around uh, 40, 40 people. Uh, I'd like to retire you. Uh, I'd like to retire you so much. I'm going to send you to here. I'm going to retire you by buying in a new vehicle. It's going to be a bus bus. It's going to be total capacity. It's going to be the KSM 11 because it holds 82 people. Uh, that's going to definitely help me out when it comes to um, getting workers on site. Getting workers on site to do things. On top of that, uh, where's my little micro bus? Oh dear micro bus. Where the hell are you? Uh, you. Oh, there you are. Okay, I want you to copy your orders to here. I'm going to set this one to do the exact same uh, route, and then we're going to take our micro bus, uh, preferably before it picks up people, and set it over here. Uh, so we're going to retire the micro bus and change it up for a bigger bus that carries 40 people, because I can have 20 workers on here. But I can also have a different mechanism. Uh, we're going to buy a new vehicle. It's going to be the EDK 300. Now, remember very, very early on, the first episode, when we were first buying vehicles, I mentioned very quickly that the, uh, the speed per level was very important. We have this one, which has a track builder speed of just 10. It gets the job done, but it gets the job done very slowly. And then I have this one, which um, has a speed of 70. Uh, also, I can change the paint color if I really care. I really don't care that much. And uh, we're going to buy one of those, which is going to appear at the border, head over here, and come park at our little office. Now, currently, we can support 20 workers. 20 workers, that's all we can support in here. With the new build-up, we now support 80 workers. But it means that it's going to leave with one of these two track builders, either the little one that works very slowly or the big one that works much faster. I'm going to take the little one and I'm going to hit the delete button, which is the sell button. Now, you would assume me selling a, a new vehicle that's, that's like, it's new, it's new, it's perfectly fine, it has a wear and tear of zero. We've only had it for, does it even say? It should say here somewhere. Uh, okay, it doesn't even say. Oh no, there we go, age of vehicle, 0.28 ye years. We had it three months, 11 days. It's not very old. Uh, yeah, you would assume, like, you know, it would be worth a lot of money. I spent a lot of money to buy the damn thing. 
I'm selling it. I'm selling it because I do not want it out on the track. I really want the EDK out on the track. So uh, we're going to get that. Now, the reason it costs me money is because I'm playing realistic mode, which means I'm not selling it. I'm paying somebody to tear it down and scrap it for me. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we put things into perspective. I'm paying somebody else to destroy it. All right. Next thing I want to do is very quickly, uh, whilst we have different things going on elsewhere, I'm going to put in a service road here. So anybody that needs to go there can access via that service road, which means I'm going to get some gravel roads and I'm going to upgrade. Yeah, actually, we're going to change my mind and I'm going to bring my service road. I don't care how bad you look because uh, I'm bringing a service road all the way through to there. Oop. I'm going to get some gravel roads and we're going to make that gravel. Uh, and then I'm going to also make that gravel. And I can make that gravel because it's not being used. And I can make that gravel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, other thing I want to do is I want to cancel this footpath. And I want to cancel a little bit of footpath in here. Uh, and you have a direct access out, but I don't want to use that. What I want to do is... Uh, turn off snapping. I want to bring a road to there, a road to there, and then I can put my footpath back uh, because I want to gravel uh, that section and that section. Yes, I want to gravel a whole bunch of this uh, just so it's... It's going to be a little bit faster for vehicles to get around in the future. Okay. Yep. Uh, it does mean probably more pressure on the... Um, the, 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 the office. The customs office. That's the words I'm looking for. But that's okay for right now. I want to get some of these upgrades in and done. Okay. Uh, you are waiting to be rolled, which means you are not being asphalted anymore. So we're going to get you asphalted as well. All right. Back over the town as I have 8% unemployment, which means one house is done. The other house is not done, which means I want to give them a couple of things to do. First off, we're going to get some important research done, being uh, the secret police. There's a very, very important research. I want to get that research done. Speaking of research, there are other buildings I need to get more research done. We need state infrastructure. I have the headquarters for the, uh, for the Republic. So, you know, we can have for the Republic on there. But I also need a technical university, which is um, small. Like, would almost fit. Almost fit. Uh, but it's probably far too large for what I need. So we're going to go with a tiny technical university. I need a tiny amount of technical university. I don't need to have another building for more uh, edu more education. I need a tiny building to access the research tree. Uh, so I'm going to be putting you in uh, here. And I want to cancel that one footpath and change it over to be you won't build me okay. all right fine uh technical university okay fine if you want to be a gravel footpath you can be a gravel footpath i shall allow it okay i want to put you there i want as much room on the right hand side as possible because there are some things we still need to build uh can i cancel footpath cancel I want to bring the footpath out to here. I want to bring the footpath through here. Okay. okay. All right. So that's got uh, you in a build. Okay. You uh, can get built. You are already assigned. You're up to 100 local workers can work on it. You are also built 23% unemployment, which is a problem. So your problems, uh, we have a police station. We have unexamined criminal cases this year, uh, which is um, mainly because the, the criminal cases are going to, well, the courthouse, and then the courthouse completes the trial and then has no way to dump them afterwards, which means I need a gulag. I need a gulag. I need a gulag. Uh, so we can build a prison. Um, as you can see, it, it's, it's, it's the right sort of size for our town, you know, the, the, the size, the equivalent of like six buildings. It seems about right. Uh, but there's also a tiny version. Now, I'd like to build the, the big version, the proper version, the proper version, but um, somebody in their infinite wisdom built some power lines 
and didn't put them underground. I said anything I don't put underground would end up coming back and haunting me, and here is our very first example, or third example, of this same power line screwing me over and over. So instead, I'm going to use a tiny prison, and we're gonna be putting you hard up against the power lines. Uh, now, being a prison, you are gonna require us to have a few things delivered, like food and clothing and meat and all those sorts of fun things. Uh, but I wanna get you as far to the left as possible because you also need a couple of other things plugged into you. Uh, one of them is gonna be trash. So I need to get trash sorted for the prison. So can I cut that footpath back? All right, I'm gonna start with trash. Uh, trash, we're gonna be putting Actually, no, let's start with a road. Uh, road, 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 dirt road. Okay. Dirt road's gonna come out this way. It's then going to, oop. There go. Okay. It's gonna come just past that power pole. Yep, beautiful. Right through there. And then it will eventually plug in over here. Not straight away. I wanna finish this road before we go and plug into it, but it's gonna plug in over there. All right, on top of that, I'm gonna want trash. Trash, I'm actually gonna be putting, yeah, I'm hoping here. Uh, no. Straight line, and then into there. Great. Uh, can I walk in this? 124 meters, that's spot on. Well done, Jenny. All right, I also want a walking path, which I can't fit in there now, so let's do some trimming. Uh, can I remove that? Uh, can I have a tiny bit of road? Tiny bit of road. And then a tiny bit more road. And that way I should be able to plug that in there. And cancel road. Strip that back so it's a bit more straight. Okay. And then footpath needs to go that side of the power pole. And then it's going to plug in uh, right here in the not too distant future. Actually, I think I can do that without ruining it. No, it ruined it. Okay, didn't split into two jobs, just reset the job and probably reset any gravel we had on site. Uh, but I wanna have that done because that's 200 meters, okay, to the prison. Now, 250-ish meters, that's 118. So that's 200, that's 300. 250 meters is like the edge of a uh, of a of a um, dirt path. 300 meters is easily reachable via gravel, which means these people could go walk here and go to work, which means I could get rails built a whole lot faster. Yeah, custom office is giving me trouble, a lot of trouble. Uh, okay, we're gonna leave that to get built. That's a chaos that I'm gonna come back to in the future. Uh, but I have trash here. With me having trash here, I need to put in more buildings. Okay. Uh, can I do that footpath? Can I also do a monument? I think it would be very helpful if uh, those that were busy, uh, you know, serving their country in prison had a uh, Lenin. Lennon standing right outside, uh, confirming that they were working hard doing their prison time. Also, I think, uh, as far as monuments goes, uh, Soviet, so, so Soviet statue, uh, Soviet emblem. No, it's too big. Uh, let's go with the Soviet statue and let's put you, I really wanna put you out the front. You're not gonna fit. You're not gonna fit. I, I could have said this whole thing. Actually, are you? No, because I can't stretch it out. Ah, it's 115 meters. Actually, it's going to be way shorter than that. Okay, that made no difference to Uh, No, no, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to try and move it further back so I have room at the front. We have no resources in sight. Let's do it. Uh, cancel road. Remove that. Uh, remove the prison. Uh, state infrastructure. Crime and justice. Prison. Can I move you back just a little bit? Okay. And I can put the road. Cancel footpath. 
Okay, no, you definitely slid to the left. Uh, here's the footpath. That one and that mess. And back to a prison. Here. Okay, check the trash. 178 minutes, that's fine. Okay, check my uh, Soviet concrete. Right there. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. There you go, there you go. Right outside the prison. Yes, yes. You know, for the Republic. Okay, uh, can I plug you in? That'll do. Cool. All right, uh, so we're going to have these constructions get done. That's going to keep the people a little bit busy. Uh, we're going to need trash for this. I also need to have some dedicated trucks bringing over, like I said, for the food, the clothes, and all that sort of stuff. Infrastructure-wise, you already have power, you already have sewerage, you already have heating, so that's going to be solved. Uh, you need all the same services, so they're all plugged in. Uh, but I also need to keep the people busy. I also need to keep the population expanding. So we now have trash right here. Uh, that is now confirmed. So what I want to do is I want to continue with my uh, conquest of uh, the area and pop down more houses. I want to have room, not necessarily to have more people right now, but in the not too distant future, I potentially want to fill up these houses by buying in more people. Yes, I'm going to keep saying it. We're going to be buying in more people. You don't question these things. We're just buying people. All right, we're, we're, we're encouraging them to leave other parts of the Republic and come live with us, okay? Financially encouraging them with rubles and secret police. Uh, speaking of secret police, I wonder if that research is done. Okay, so I want to put you there. I want to put you uh, here. Uh, I want to put another one here. Now, I need to look at trash. Trash is going to be something I need to pay attention to. Uh, so you have a trash... Trash, 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 trash. Uh, you don't reach that trash. Okay. Uh, means I need to have some sort of trash probably right here, honestly. Uh... Okay. So I'm going to put you here as just a marker. We're going to definitely turn this off. And I'm going to turn this off. I don't want to build because I want to make sure that you guys can't reach this. Okay, can I cancel that footpath? Can I go footpath this direction? Uh, so you can get to that one, but you can't get to this one. Okay, can I remove you? Uh, can I cancel footpaths? Uh, those ones and those ones. And can I... You have a reach distance of 157 meters as to here. So, oh, that's 157 meters. That's too far already. 108 meters. So, 108 meters can reach. So, it means I need to look at the one on the right, which is not lighting up for at all. Because they're suspended? Uh, yeah, I don't want to demolish that. Yeah, no, no not going to happen. Okay. Let's try copying you. Oh, because there's no footpath directly across into that. Okay. Can I put you there? Can I s suspend you? Can I get a bit of dirt road into there? And then can I put a footpath here anyway? Sure. That gives me a rough mark. Okay. Uh, you travel distance. Uh, 152 minutes is too far, but this one's 40 odd. Uh, and then you come on, stop being like that. Yep, you are 108 meters, so you're fine as well. We can dump you right there. All right, uh, these I don't really want built. That's okay. Can I get cancer construction? I don't want that built. I don't want that built. I don't want that built or that built. I want them to work on this instead. I want to bring a footpath through here. Uh, remove that. Remove that. Uh, cancel that and that. I do not want that demolished. Uh, cancel. Put you in this gap. Put you in this gap. We're just going to have access to that trash as well. 
uh, we can put you through there, we can put you through there, we can put you through there, and that's at least four more houses. I will need trash over here, but also I want to plan out houses this way, and possibly this way. But at the moment, uh, we have at least something for them to do. Uh, needle. All the needles. Okay. We at least have something for them to do. Uh, we have uh, the graveling done. I right, put that there. So, with the graveling now done from here to here, uh, we're still using this as access to get into some of these. Uh, I'd really like to... I'd really like to do this road. I think I have to wait for everything else to be done first. Uh, that's the coal, which I don't really want to block off, because that would be bad. And... Ah, that's going to be the other one. Uh, footpath. Can I get gravel? And we're going to go... This footpath, this footpath... And that footpath, and that footpath. Yeah, they're not set in stone, they're set in gravel. Uh, but that should be enough. Uh, actually, I probably don't want to do that to the other one, to, to this main res done. Uh, yeah, plugging that in there is not going to help me. All right, so that should give us those two done. Uh, we have finished researching secret police, so whoop. Uh, I think it's time for fire prevention for city civil infrastructure. And that means uh, back under state infrastructure, crime and justice, it's time for the all important. Wow, secret police. We have a small version. We have a small version. I think the small version is probably going to be more, uh, more our size for right now. Uh, now, again, you have water consumption, garbage produced per worker. We're going to have a little bit of garbage. Now, I don't have a solution for that, uh, so you're probably... Actually... Hmm. Uh, secret place. If I twist you sideways... I like the idea of twisting you sideways. Can I... Sure, come off that road. And then forward... To say here. And then put trash... Here. Plug that in there. And then bring our footpath through to there. Yes. Okay, uh, we're going to get a secret place up and running as well. We're going to put in the footpaths as well. Uh, I should, whilst we're doing all this other construction work, I should uh, also definitely do... Oh, so much more graveling. Okay, I want to gravel... No, uh, I want to gravel that road. I want to gravel that, that road. Yeah. Uh, that and that. There's going to be a whole lot of upgrading the gravel as we go. Uh, that is all now... Oh, that's all now built. Uh, if I... do... that section, they can drive in, or the coal trucks can drive in and around that way. Uh, and then I still want to do this section, but I'm going to wait to do that. Uh, this access where I can stay, I guess, for right now. And, yeah, I need to, um, let them get to work. They have, well, they have in the town, they have, uh, the universe... Oh. Okay, I need to set these to low priority. I need to turn these off to get citizens. because uh, we're not going to be bringing in more people, because I don't have any other work to do just yet. Turn you off, get citizens. We're going to set you to low priority as well. You have had some resources delivered. So we have Technical University, a uh, Lenin Monument, a Soviet symbol, uh, a prison. So they have some construction to do in town. We have the secret police. We have a garbage stand. So they have some more construction to do down here. We should keep our employment nice and low. As for over here, we still have this to be built, which is going to require workers. Uh, you are now enabled. We have this main entrance here, which requires workers, which is unfortunate because they've done nothing over here. Uh, we do have those footpaths plugged in and a bus stop. So, as we can see, air, all the buildings are now walkable. 
we do need to replace you and I need to replace you and that's all the replacements I need to do I do need to uh, put in footpaths uh, I need to plug you into there you into there you into there uh, uh, sure done uh, I need to get no not demolish I need to get these done so I have these services uh, I need to get those uh, forklift connections built Yep, uh, and that one, and I want the main building done, and uh, I want this to be done super, super, super high priority. As soon as that's done, we can actually start working on the warehouse. We have these going in. We have the underground uh, stuff going in from there to there. Power, on the other hand, is uh, not really started. We've delivered some concrete. We've delivered some concrete. Yep. Yep. The, the, the bus is showing up with workers. That's a good sign. Uh, they don't do anything because we haven't dropped off the gravel or the asphalt. Uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's the thought that counts. Uh, actually, can I get that trash bin done as well? Yep. Where the hell are you going? Unload through... Oh, plumbing. It's a plumbing job. Oh, it's this job. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, all right. So, yes, uh, there are things for them to do. A lot of things for them to do. Uh, so we're going to let them get on with the work. We'll keep the unemployed up here and happy. And I'm hoping to mainly keep the vehicles down here getting these jobs done. Um, yeah, we're sort of splitting splitting our priorities and splitting, splitting our labor. But um, yes, it's time for one of them um, time lapses before the video is done. Constructions continued, and we now have a secret police, which is going to be very, very important that we give them some vehicles. Uh, speed, I guess? Uh, value. Let's go with value. Uh, our maximum road, maximum speed on our roads is 110. So, combines? 80? No. Uh, 100. Let's get four of those. All right. Uh, they are going to need fuel. They could go to a fuel station, or I can have the fuel rats uh, come over and top them up with fuel uh no the courthouse definitely doesn't need fuel uh on top of that we happen to have well a prison a prison now the prison is now up and running uh it has a couple of problems uh one it doesn't have clothing or meat or food so we also need to go back to our distribution offices uh you are the one doing food and we need to assign here as well the prison is going to need to be topped up with uh well food clothing and meat so hopefully we get to that fairly soon because at the moment we have um some prisoners that are starving. 
yeah, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's it's perfectly normal in the Republic to feed the prisoners optionally. And uh, we're also about to hit winter. We're in the 21st of November, which means in two days we're going to have winter, which also means I'm going to leave the episode here. Yeah, we've got some things accomplished. We do have the Like a Girl warehouse up and running, but um, I don't actually have any of the other factories up and running, nor do I have the infrastructure up and running. We have, um, well, half it built, but not all of it. And you may have noticed during the time lapse that we had um, buildings lights flickering, which means where's our uh, power? Our power is over here and you're at 98%. Yeah, I'm using 2.44 megawatts of 2.5, which is the max for this building. Uh, but in saying that, uh, our underground wires only use, uh, only do 1.45 megawatts. So I need to add uh, just a few more power connections. We can go through the overlays and that sort of stuff in the next episode and talk a little bit more about power and, um, well, how to spot some power problems. But uh, we're going to leave that for the next episode. For right now, I'm going to leave this video here as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. and do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you back in the Republic for the very next episode. All right. Bye.